Hey guys, this is Paul from Mozilla and I'm going to show you um, a demo named Motivational Poster Editor. It gives you a way to create your own motivational poster. Uh, this demo shows drag and drop, XML HTTP requests and a little CSS3 trick I want to I wanna show. Um, so first I'm going to explain how to use the demo and then I'm going to go to the source code of the demo. So. Uh, you have this web page. You can drag and drop elements, uh, images from your computer. Hop. Then you can edit the quote. Hi. This was back. Okay. And then you can edit uh, the, the image. is sent to a server uh, named imageu.com. It's it's like a, it's a, a web service to share images. So here, if I do a right click on this image and I look at the URL of the image address, it, you see it's hosted on imageo.com. Okay? So you can share the image uh, with Twitter, Reddit, Facebook, Imageo. Um, okay. Quite cool. Uh, not big surprise, right? But it's, it's, it's funny. Um, but now I, I, I want to talk about how it works. And this is the really interesting part. So if you don't, don't want to know about uh, drop events XML HTTP request level 2 or from data, just leave now the video. Uh, I'm going to go through uh, the source code of this demo. OK, so how does it work? Drag and drop plus file API. You know, um, we talked about that before on hacks of Mozilla.org. Uh, I want to show you something new in Firefox 4. So basically what I do is to listen to uh, the drop event, right? So if you look at the source code, you're going to be able to see that on drop, what I do is to first uh, look like look if there's a file or not. If there's no file, but like here, like if the number of files is less than one, then that's zero, right? So zero files, awesome. If you have zero file, but you still had had you know the drop event, it means that something has been dropped, and may maybe this something has a URL uh, content, right? Like like if you do that, uh, I take an image from 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 the from the website and I drag and drop the image like like here, you know, I drag and drop the image here. Uh, it's not a file, but still has a URL. Okay, so I want to be able to uh, know that, and this is the way to do it. Okay, here. Okay, but what if um, there's a file? So, like here, for example. Okay, so we have a file. I call this function process file. Okay, so process file, it's here. It's quite easy to understand. Uh, I, I'm not going to explain everything. It's, it's uh, a lot of, you know, uh, not super interesting things inside, but basically I make sure that it's an image, right? It, that the file is an image, and then uh, you know I have set up your um, method that's going to just load the image into a canvas. So because this part is actually a canvas, right? But the interesting part is here. So the the, the first way uh, to, to 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 show an image from uh, your computer, I mean from the user's computer. Inside the web page, we used to use um, the file API, right? Use the file API, like right here, you read the file as a data URL, and then you use this URL uh, as the as a source for an image tag. And then you have an image tag that shows uh, the image from the desktop, and you can uh, draw this image inside the canvas and do whatever you want, right? Okay. This is, there's two problems with this way. Two problems here, yeah. two tricky parts. First, uh, it's asynchrone. Uh, it's not just, I mean, asynchrone could be a problem. I don't know, but well, it's asynchrone, right? The other thing is that uh, we have to handle, to manipulate data URL, uh, a string, like it's a huge string, like several megabytes in, in the memory, right? And it's, it's heavy, it's very heavy. So in terms of Firefox 4, we have a new way to do that, another way, uh, which is uh, url.createObject URL, okay? So it's here. If you don't understand my awesome accent, you can read it here. Um, basically, it's, 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 it's a way to, um, to create a fake, a meta, a 
meta URL for your file. Uh, if you want to look at what it looks like, it's quite easy. Look at this. So I'm dropping an image from the desktop to the web page. And you see the URL is something like that. It's not like a C uh, slash 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 user slash blah blah blah. It's not the real path. It's it's a meta one. Okay, something we can use and it has no security issue at all, right? Uh, it's way easier to handle than a huge data URL, you know. So this is quite cool. So this is the first thing I wanted to show. Um, then, you know, I push the image into a canvas through the draw image uh, method from the context to right? Then I change the text with draw text and fill text from, from the canvas API as well. Um, this is not new, I'm not going to talk about this. Just look at the source code if you're interested. Um, the next part is the uploading process. And this is magic. This is magic. Uh, it happens here in this upload uh, function. So, I'm gonna. Um, so there's two ways to, to to two ways to upload this file. This, so it's a canvas, okay? It's not a file anymore. It's a canvas element. There is two ways to send the canvas to the imageu.com server. We can either send uh, the data URL from uh, from the canvas. So this is what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna give give more details. Uh, it's what I do here, okay? Uh, poster, poster is the canvas element to data URL, okay? And I can send that to image.com. I can also uh, send the canvas as a file because we have an experimental feature in Firefox 4 uh, named Mose Get as File that gives you a way to um, to transform a canvas. Uh, to a file element, like here, okay? But how do I send this element? So I use a form data uh, object, and this object is actually a simulation of the, of the, the HTML uh, element, uh, the form element from HTML. So from the form data, I can append uh, some key values uh, content. So basically, here you can see uh, here you can see how I can append something to this uh, to this object. Okay, append um, so key the key imageu.com key uh, followed by the value of the key. And I can do the same thing with image. And the awesome thing is that imageu.com allows uh, us to send uh, a file element or uh, uh, the data URL element. So that's quite, you know, powerful, right? I can easily send whatever I want. So the thing is, Chrome, for example, uh, doesn't support most get as file. There's a good reason for that, but they don't support it. But so you can use uh, the data URL, right? Uh, and okay, next step is to use the XMLTP request. Uh, so I create a request, uh, a post one, right? And then I send my form data. FD, FD is, is the form data, okay? Uh, and I have some um, events handler to you know, give us an error or to, to, to retrieve the, the final URL uh, of the image. Um, one thing. And one big thing is that this is possible because imageu.com allows cross-domain XML HTTP request, right? So they allow us to use their, their own API from another domain. And here the domain is localhost, right? So you can do that yourself. You don't need anything, just ask for a key and it's done. Um, so I'm going to change a bit the function just to show you how Simple this is. So this this this, this function sends a canvas to imageo.com. Okay. So we don't need this. I don't need this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna remove the most get us file because the data you are away works in Firefox too. Uh, we don't need this. I think. 
that's all. So you just need like seven, eight lines of code to upload a canvas. So whatever you want, basically. Uh, any image you can edit on your website uh, to the server and retrieve the, the address. And so it's, it's, it's a super easy way to to share, you know, on, on a common mechanism or on your website you want someone to, I don't know, it's, it's just infinite. You can, you know, easily share an image, you can build a client site, like rotate client site, resize, crop, draw something client site, and then share it just with eight lines of code. How cool is that? Really? Okay. So as you can see, I'm super excited by this, these features. Next, um, next, next is uh, just a little detail. Actually, it's not super important. But I just love it. It's easy. Look at this. I'm gonna drag and drag and drop an image. I look at the background of the web page. Oops. See, it's pink, right? Uh, it's pink because uh, actually it used the, the background image here is actually uh, a mouse element uh, image. Mouse element is a way to say I want to use this HTML element, whatever you want, it could be a video canvas, and here it's a canvas, whatever you want as a background. So here, what I do, I just resize the image. Um, into a canvas, a 5 per 5 pixel image, and I use this little image as a background, as a 100% per 100% background. And then it stretch the, the, the canvas, the 5 pixel canvas, and you have this nice effect. Uh, let's do it again with this, for example. See the background? Awesome, right? It's, it's funny. I think it's, it's sexy, right? Uh, okay, that's all. Have fun. Bye-bye.